CCSD and the CCEA met again back in court today, this time discussing a motion to dismiss the lawsuit over the alleged teacher strike. Fox 5's Shauna Kalafi is in studio with arguments from both sides and why the judge decided to strike it all down. Yeah, so what was being discussed today was an anti-slap motion that was filed by the teachers union. That's an attempt to have the entire lawsuit thrown out due to infringement on freedom of speech or freedom to petition. But the judge today wasn't accepting the union's argument to support this. In a preliminary ruling Tuesday, a judge denied the Clark County Education Association's motion to dismiss the lawsuit brought by the school district against the union. The anti-slap motion filed by CCEA claimed that CCSD filed the lawsuit in order to chill the expression of freedom of speech or freedom to petition, which the district denies. This case clearly is not meritless. It wasn't meritless when it was filed by CCSD. And there's no evidence that it was initiated primarily to chill their exercise of free speech rights. Your Honor is correct. The reason the lawsuit was brought in the first place was to prevent a strike from occurring. However, the union argued Tuesday that the district's original court complaint lacked sufficient evidence to meet the minimum threshold for merit. There is absolutely nothing in the, in the original complaint having to do with sick outs at individual schools. Absolutely nothing. Ultimately, the judge's preliminary ruling was that CCSD's complaint did include enough evidence of a threat to strike to meet minimum merit, even if the union's actions were found to be protected under free speech. Even if I were to decide that that first prong was in favor of CCEA and that this was a good faith communication in furtherance of the right to petition or the right to free speech, I would still find that there was minimal merit to the lawsuit that was brought by CCSD in the first instance, not even looking at the fact that the injunction has now been issued. CCSD sent a statement following the ruling, reiterating that Nevada state law prohibits strikes against the district, adding, quote, to try and characterize the district's complaint for an injunction as anything other than an attempt to stop the commencement or continuation of a strike is disingenuous. We believe the court made the correct ruling today against CCEA. And now that that motion to dismiss has been preliminarily denied, the legal battle continues between the district and the union over this alleged strike. We'll keep you updated as things move forward and as the next court date approaches.